Hi guys, hope you're doing well. We're here at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and with me I'm having comedian MC Tricky. Anasema, ni kama maisha hapa imekuwa tricky sana. Anyway, Tricky, uko aje? Nasikia. Uko excited? Mwana nasikia hivyo? I'm very much excited. Yes. Is it your first time to tour in UK? Ama inakuwa aje? Yeah, that one is true. It's my first time. It's my first time to tour the UK. So really and honestly, it's a dream come true. Some of these things, if Nizile tulikuwa tunawandika kwa CV, kitambo, hobby is traveling. So this is what God saw on those simple CVs and it's actualizing. So we thank God. Okay. For how long have you been planning for this tour? This tour, um, uh, I can say, Nikitu Ilikuwa part of the package of uh, a tricky comedy circuit, even from last year. Um, uh, when I, I started the thought of uh, doing the stand-up comedy and learning and improving from what we have, in Nikitu Ilikuwa Kwa Mpango, na nikasema, after the first uh, edition, Nairobi Cinema, mm. I will have to tour the world. Yeah, so this, I, I can answer your question that Nilianza ku panga hii kitu as early as last year. Ah, as early as last year. Na mbune ime kuteke like a while ndo u actualize it to go ukamua sasa. This is the best time to go. Of course, good things take time. Yeah, uwezi panga kitu tuwa ya inje and then you are doing it within two, three days. You have to do some research. You have to know exactly what you want to go and do there. For me, I have a plan. And my plan is a long-term plan. So... Even the, the UK tour is not the last tour. After the UK, we will be here again, God willing, mm -hmm. and we will be announcing the next move. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a long term thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, maybe to our Kenyans are in UK, mm. uh, what do they look forward to? Oh my goodness, Kenyans, I know, I know they miss home. So when they see us uh, in this departure <laughs> zones of the airport, mm -hmm. they are very excited to come and um, hang out with us. To wape mushene yote njinaendelea hapa Kenya. Na siyo wa Kenya peke yake, East Africans who follow us. You know your media has grown, mm -hmm. especially you online media. Mm -hmm. People follow you so much, even in Rwanda, Tanzania, Uganda. It's not only Kenyans. Mm -hmm. So they are very excited mm -hmm. and they are very supportive. Mm -hmm. I know them. Even in our social medias, if you look at those people who comment on our content, mm -hmm. They are those guys who are in the diaspora mm -hmm. because they love us and they miss home. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, which are some of the places that you're going to tour? Have you identified them specifically? Uh, of course. So there's something major that um, <coughs> um, I'm, 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 uh, I'm going to do in the UK. Mm -hmm. And I have to mention it. Mm -hmm. And in fact, it's happening tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm traveling even today. Uh, the first event that I'm, I'm, I'm gracing is a, is a dinner, which is um, under a foundation, which is Kevin Kararua Leukemia Trust. Mm -hmm. They are doing a black tie dinner tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, you can visit their website. You will understand more about it. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a foundation that was started and is based in the, uh, in the UK. And the founder is a Kenyan. She is a Kenyan. Mm -hmm. um, so what they do is that they create awareness about leukemia and they, they try to lobby guys to come through and donate. Do what we call the stem cell donations. Mm -hmm. So it's all about creating awareness and, uh, and all that. So the Black uh, Thai Dinner, which is happening tomorrow, mm -hmm. is an annual event that happens in the UK. Mm -hmm. Whereby not only Kenyans but all Africans come together. Mm -hmm. It's mostly for the black people. Mm -hmm. They come together and raise funds and raise awareness. Mm -hmm. So that's when they reached out to me. They saw me doing the Tricky Comedy Circuit in March. Mm -hmm. So that's when we met with Rose, the founder, one of the founding members. And we discussed this and she told me, if you are interested to, uh, in coming to the UK, why can't you pass by our event and come and grace us and tell Kenyans and East Africans about Kevin Kararua Leukemia Trust? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you'll be seeing that most, uh, mostly on my socials when I'm there with them, interacting with them, and I will be telling Kenyans more about the trust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so that one will be my first event. That is tomorrow. It's happening at, uh, in London, Double Tree by Hilton Hotel. The address is very clear on the poster. So that's the first one. I'll just be there hanging around those guys and having fun with them mm -hmm. and entertaining them. Uh, then uh, the next weekend, which is third, if I'm not wrong, uh, tentatively, we'll be in uh, Northampton. 
then uh, the other weekend after third, that is ninth, will be, sorry, third will be Channel Islands, sorry, I can confuse these places, even just Jackrow, Missouri. Channel Islands is the is the one third, the ninth Northampton, then tenth Swindon, mm -hmm. yeah. Kama utakaa sana pale. Eh, yeah, niko huko. Lazima nikaeka. Unajua pia Eve. Uh -huh. Mimi sijaenda kule kujifanya ati mimi ndo the best, mimi ni mjuaji. No. Uh -huh. It's this one uh, I'm treating this tour as a, a case study. Uh -huh. I'm doing research. I'm going there to gather and learn. Uh -huh. Apart from just performing in all those uh, venues, I will be attending lots of comedy clubs in the UK. Mm -hmm. There are lots of them. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think the, we have more than even five happening in, in one city. Okay. Those guys do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the major thing that you are looking forward to when maybe attending their comedy clubs? Uh, Pale? I want to learn. I want to be a better comedian. I want to be a, an international comedian. I want mm -hmm. to know what other guys are doing. Mm -hmm. You know, to Kikua Hapa Kenya, we are caged here. We think we are the best. No. Mm -hmm. Guys out there are doing something different. Mm -hmm. So it's good to go out there and get those uh, good uh, traits they have and learn and grow. Come back and build yourself mm -hmm. and get back there when you're better. Okay, do you have yeah. maybe the co uh, some of the comedians from there that you've interacted, that you're looking forward to meet when you get there? I don't have comedians from there. Mm -hmm. I'm just attending their comedy. I will know them there, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I'll just attend as an audience. They won't even realize that there's somebody called MC Trick in their theater. Mm -hmm. I'm there to learn, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, recently we've been seeing comedians uh, going outside the country. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. And so many people actually, our mm -hmm. artists, they are moving from our country when they perform Pale in I remember last time we had an interview with Kunenda Mahali. There was a debate that, uh, oh, wasani, hawaindi, hawaindi. Do you think this is a season in Yemefika ya Kuenda? It's not a season, my friend. <laughs> There's nothing like a season. Every brand has its own plans. Mm -hmm. So there is no season. It's everybody and their own plans. Mm -hmm. So for me, moving out of the country is something that I have been craving for. Is is that kind of growth that I want to be, mm -hmm. to have or else. So I won't call it a season. Mm -hmm. So mimi kama msi tricky kuna venye nimejipanga, ule jugush kuna venye amejipanga, ule mwingine kuna venye amejipanga. So kuna mwenye pia ameamua, I will create my brand in Kenya na nikulia hapa Kenya. Well and good. See at Yanafanya Kitumbaya. Going outside does not mean at Sasa Wewe and your. Everybody has their own dream. Yes. Pengine tukitoka kidogo kwa hii tour ya UK. Moja kwa moja mpaka sasa tuwanze kutusi watu. Tukirudi nyuma kidogo, ako the head a wedding. And of course, we've been seeing you with Rubebe. You guys have been friends for quite some time. And I expected to see you there, but I didn't see you. Ile next star course. Why are you not invited? Why are you invited? Kuna mkazi joka kasema ile next star course. So, I was invited. Of course, Akoda is my friend. She sent me an unofficial invitation. But unfortunately, that day, it was on a Monday, if I'm not wrong. Sindio? Yes. I was home with my mom. We had some family issue. So, lazima nige kuwa na mom. That was the priority, of course. Any day, any time. So it I quite bad blood or anything or mm -hmm. are you yeah. looking forward maybe to go to the in Guinea Jugin as I can act in Guinea. Are you looking forward to go if you're gonna no, be in I won't go. Because it's a kick. No, it's the same man, no, no. a different location. Oh 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 you yeah, uko. Eh. By the way, I'll fly now. Uh -huh. Come on in the same man, uh -huh. I will be there. What are your thoughts? I thought ni ingine sasa tofauti. Apana. Eh, ingine ya tofauti. Eh. No, it's the same man or more. Because they can do anything anytime. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway. Does this mean you're not uh, mchuguli serious kwa imo mbaya? Ah, wewe, tutoke kwa ako there. Tuende, tuende. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> kido. Okay, uh, I want to say Kwanza, congratulations. Thank I've so been much. there seeing you grow and I've seen you, I've seen you going international. We were with you the other day when we were going to Juba and Rwanda. Now you're going to UK and more many countries to come. Maybe, what have you learned now? You're getting platforms, you're getting opportunities now for you now to, for people to appreciate your work internationally on an international level. There's one big lesson that I'm learning uh, since I started traveling outside. Um, most of the times, we tend to fail in brand packaging here in the country. And I will tell my fellow artists that 
point blank that uh, but in the culture to mepata it's a culture that we've just found in so we don't know most of us don't know so when I, when I traveled to Juba Rwanda I found a different similar culture that people respect art people respect talent you, I don't know come on understand Sistaki to Lambwe, but people respect art a lot. And they take it as a, as a profession. What do I mean? When I went to Rwanda, guys used to pay tickets, even double, in, in the spirit of supporting Zubi Comedy. Zubi Comedy, those comedians who had hosted me. They want them to buy a car. They want them to change the lives of their mothers. So somebody could come to the show and pay times two. I don't understand. Hapa Kenya, it's the opposite. Complimentaries. Kila mbro nataka comp, bro. Even those guys who are driving Prados, wanataka complimentary, imagine. So, ni kwa sababu gani? They think that coming to your show, si eti ni ado, si business yo, yo ni by the way, ni upuzi tu, we kujo tuchekeshe, tupige tots, tulewe whisky, alafu tutoke tuende tu. Sio kuna nielewa. Awa awa hapa kidogo tu, kidogo tu. Hiyo hiyo respect na kwa kidogo. Na si audience peke yake. Even our government. The other day I saw a senator. Hata sikumbuki jina lake because I don't have hata sitaki kukumbuka. Who was bashing this online content creation? Saying that it's nonsense and the government should not invest in it or we should invest in the traditional whatever. Bro Yes, let's invest in our traditional uh, talents like athle athletics and football. But the world is moving to a, a different issue. So, mtukama huyo ndo wame kuko senate ati atutete policies. How do you expect us to grow? How do you expect our talents to grow in the country? It will never grow. And that guy raised the issue in the, in the senate. And all the other senators just laughed at it. Na wakayachilia ikaenda. Just imagine the country that we are living in. Kido. Ati mtu anasema, kido wewe, hii content yako tangu wanze eh, SPM buzz. If mungai, tangu wanze channel yako. How has it changed your life? But that senator said that it is nonsense. You can imagine. Those are some of the things that, that I am talking about. Because culture zingine kama hizo, haziko kwa country zingine. You go to Rwanda. If you want to hold a show in Rwanda, and you are a comedian, the government has a, has a whole like KCC yao in yikona venues and they give you at a very low cost unaenda ngapale unapata viti zimepangwa sound imewekwa stage imewekwa na wafanyikazi wa gaba Kenya unda show kama MC yetu kina Nairobi cinema uta spend 1 million ubaki bila shiliki kwa mfuko na uta, uh, <laughs> anyway wacha ni maliza makasiriko naenda UK and regards to that what you've mentioned we, we, we saw it the other day yes. uh, uh, courts upheld um, um, Suspends Talanta Hela. Now we are in a dark space because the government created something called Talanta Hela for, uh, yes, I know for creatives yes. to benefit with that. Mm. What do I have to say on that? They suspended that. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we need to move out of the country and look for, uh, for new grounds and grow there. If you can't support me when I'm in my country, I'll go to the UK, and I'll go to the UK, and I'll go to the UK. Because when you fight the system, you can't fight. Yeah. We've seen a good friend of yours, uh, a very high profile event guru. Oh, yes. very good friend of mine. Yes. He has escorted me all the way to the airport. Mm -hmm. A gentleman that I respect a lot. Maybe yes, uh, please, just to ask you, uh, apart from the relationship you have with uh, Tricky, just to understand, you've seen Tricky growing now, it's going international. Maybe what can you, a message to fellow artists who are there at home, they just want to watch Netflix and chill, yeah. maybe enjoy their rise in town with Subarus and everything. You know, the most interesting thing is that all of you, when we guys were starting the industry, starting with Eve, starting with you and everybody here, you guys are not there. But thanks to this, thanks to this social media and uh, to, to the digital, where you guys decide to start your own, look at where you guys are. This guy is a friend of mine and we met online. And anytime he has a show, I think he can tell you, I'll tell him, to me your post and post here. As in I actually ask, give me the post I post for him. Mm. And the way I started that is because I realized, you know what, if we don't support each other, ourselves, where are we going? So if Eve has something, I need to support Eve. That's why we are here at the airport. 
look at this. Is there mainstream media here? No. No. It's only us. Okay. <laughs> so the more we push like this, I'm very happy this guy is going. Why? Probably I'm better than any other event organizer in this country. It's because, because I did my internship outside this country. And I went to Nigeria for like two months, 12 years ago, to see what those guys do. And they were hosting international artists and everybody. Later I went to SA, you know. So it's only that this guy is going, and I'm happy he said he needs to attend an event as a guest. And people should not know that he's there because it's the only way you go to the next level. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe a message to, to, to artists now because yeah. what is Tricky is doing is something unique and interesting. Um, where you are, the mountain you are standing on top of right now is the foot of another mountain. Every day you need to go up. So this guy has stood on this mountain in Kenya. He's realized, oops, Kumbe Niko Chinia mountain here, Levoya UK and the rest of the European Union. So I'm very happy that this guy is going supporting him anytime. Thanks to each one of you. Thanks Eve, SPM Buzz, everybody that is here supporting him. That's what we need to do. Mm -hmm. All the best to him, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Thank you of so course, much. Of yeah. course, uh, Chris, you've been in the industry for quite some time. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure you've hosted so many events. You've seen artists come and go. Uh, maybe you can tell us, uh, what, what can you say about our, generally, our industry, our entertainment industry? Our industry Thanks again. I want to credit the fact that you guys are running your own uh, publicity and PR. Before you know, we depended on, on mainstream media. And, and I think you know that. And it was not very easy, by the way. Eh? Like you said, you need a lot of money. But now you guys, you have your platform. If you look at the followers you have, I was looking at your followers and I was getting shocked. I looked at his followers. The combined followers that we have here, we can drive a show. Yeah. The other day, I was asking Butita, why can't Kate Chris Limited and uh, SPM Buzz and you host a show? By the way, I asked him, Akashika Kicho Ivi Akauliza, you know we can actually, you know we can do it. So what we need to do is to look at the platforms that exist and use it to propel yourself forward. Sure. Do not wait for someone else. Nobody else is coming to save you. Mm -hmm. And people, once you are up there, now they will see, okay, it's time we supported this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, you can talk to people in the UK. Oh uh, my goodness. Uh, so that Asan. they can come to support in, in you. UK English. In UK English. In UK English. <laughs> okay, my English is poor. <laughs> anyway, oh my goodness, our family, I will call them family. And it's not only Kenyans, East Africans, all of them. We love you so much. And I'm coming for you. Let's have fun. So guys in London, I'm coming. Tomorrow let's hang out at the Double Tree by Hilton Hotel. We do the Kelvin Kararua Eukemia Trust Black Thai Dinner. We make it a success. It's a fit sana. Then on third, Channel Islands, I'm coming. Channel Islands, Ziko, Kombali, Karibu na France. Ata Ziko, Karibu na UK. Karibu na... na Megingo. Anyway. On the 9th, Northampton, I'm coming through. And on 10th, we close with Swindon. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, all the best are uh, tricky, of course, to kwa hapa tukikungoja. Thank you so much. Uh, hapa to yeah. uh, to all our fans uh, in the UK, yeah. uh, make sure you show up to support our boy right here. And guys, in case you're watching this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button to all the channels. We meet the next video.